Welcome back to Alternative Authority Content. And in this video, we're going to be talking about creating expert content. Now, there are several ways for you to use the audio and video medium in order to create expert authority content. Now, one of the ways, of course, you can do that is to create all of the content yourself. Now, what that means is that you are going to be the one to have all of the expert experience because you're going to be teaching people or you're going to be explaining to people whatever the subject matter is from your perspective. And so you need to have a broad base of experience in the particular niche or in a particular area. And you're going to need to come up with the topic areas. And typically, this is going to be an area that you encounter different problems on an everyday basis. You're going to be encountering the different questions that people have. And so you want to be able to do that, and you want to be able to do that effectively, consistently. So if your, uh, if your show or your podcast or your videos are on a daily basis, of course, you'll need to have lots of experience, and you'll need to know a lot about the particular niche. Now, one of the ways that you can bridge that gap... If you don't necessarily have all of the experience that you'd like to have inside of the niche is you could purchase or borrow the experience and you can do that by purchasing private label rights content which allows you to basically publish that content inside of your own uh, particular uh, 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 medium whether it's video or audio and use it as your own and it, there there typically is uh there typically is in lots of different places inside of uh internet marketing where you can actually purchase this content you can actually purchase private label rights content if you do a search in google for private label rights content and let's do that right now you'll see that there are lots of areas where there there is private label rights content that you can get in order to, again, supplement your knowledge or for you to be able to borrow the expertise of others. Now, in this particular case, if you were looking for a particular area, let's say that you were looking for uh, content on weight loss, you could find it. And all you'd have to do is search for it and check out the different vendors that are available. And there typically is private label rights content in every area. Uh, in this case, we could type in alternative energy. Maybe that is the area in which you are seeking to become an expert. Right, so what you're doing is you're basically uh, purchasing this content. And typically, one of the things about private label rights content is that it is fairly inexpensive for you to be able to borrow the expertise of others and to be able to get the article content or to get the content that you're going to use in order to create videos, in order to create presentations, in order to create audio content. Now, one of the other things you can do is you can have experts appear as guests to provide the content. So in other words, instead of you having to provide all of the content, one of the ways in which you build a position where you are an authority is to bring the experts that actually have basically the frontline experience. And you're basically going to have those guests uh, present their content in a fashion where, again, they're, they're probably going to end up being the only one presenting in your medium. So instead of you being there with them, they're going to be the one on the podcast. They're going to be the one in the video. They're going to be the one inside of the Google Hangout. And this is a great way for you to build an authority position because you're basically going to be giving people the opportunity to be presenters in your, in your audience, to your audience. Now, another way that you can create content that's related is you can collaborate with those experts and co-create the content. So in some cases, you can actually have someone on your show or you can have someone inside of your podcast and you can have a discussion about a particular topic. And what you're doing, of course, is you're working with the expert to create the content. This is, again, a great way for you to be able to build on and gain uh, in, in some cases, the audiences of the actual expert, as well as giving your, your audience great content. 
You can, of course, interview experts and create content. So you can actually be inside of the uh, the video or you can be inside of the audio. And basically, you are asking your guests questions that you know that will help them to draw out the, 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 the topics, to draw out the knowledge that your audience is actually going to need for that particular uh, for that particular topic that uh, you have opened up with a particular episode. Now there are two ways or two keys to creating this kind of expert content. One is you want to bring in experts with an existing following. So whenever you go and you get someone, you want to have someone who uh, basically can bring with them people that would actually attend your your show or attend your your podcast or listen to it because this is how you build leverage. This is how you build out your authority. You actually are are borrowing the authority of others. You are are piggybacking on their authority. You're bringing them. Not only are you bringing in the guests, but you're also bringing in <clears throat> their followers, their attendees, or their listeners. The other key is somehow adding to the conversation. So in other words, you don't want to do uh, topics that everyone else is talking about. In some cases, what you want to do is to add to the conversation. So you want to take a new angle, take a new approach, take a new spin. You want to be, uh, you want to, to, to add something new, but you, something relevant to what people are really looking for. And in some cases, it helps to be able to bring in guests who can bring a little controversy, uh, people who are going to take a position, even if it's not necessarily the one that you agree with, bringing someone in who already has a position, already has something that they can add to the conversation, that they can take a position that's different from everything else that's out there, this will bring, uh, this will bring people to your, your show. Now... You have to be careful, of course, with controversy. You want to make sure that at the end of the day that it really adds to your authority, that bringing this person in really does really does make people more loyal to you at the end of it, even if, again, the discussion is not going to be something that everyone else agrees with. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.